Hey everyone, this is YouTube Bids, and I am back with your Ohio daily update for the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, so first things first, we're going to get to our numbers. Uh, not a huge update today, so we should be able to get this done in five minutes or less, as I always try to do. So first thing, we got our first uh, chart up here. Uh, the number of infected has increased to 3312. Um, with a, com uh, 410 new cases, uh, compared to the prior day. So we have 410 new cases in the state. Uh, our next graph will show here that we've got, they said they, they claimed 38,375 tests today, which is actually an increase of 3,400 daily tests, um, I think there may be some carryover from the prior day potentially or prior couple of days, uh, maybe, but I'm not 100% certain there. But it would that number would seem to make it think like we actually did more tests um, than we normally have been. Um, <clears throat> at thir with 30, that's with 35,000 testing negative and 34, sorry, uh, 3312 testing positive. Um, here is our final uh, set of numbers. So again, I started this line, this line graph um, the other day. And so the projected cases by now would have been up to 755. Currently, uh, we're at 410. Again, this is daily cases. So we're at 410. So as you can tell, we are starting that incline, sort of. Um, we'll see how it continues to progress. But um, that's where we're at right now. So... Uh, the total number of deaths have increased to 91. I believe we were like 80 something yesterday. So we hit, we didn't have that many more people die overnight or within the last day. So that's good. But again, like we're not anywhere near as bad as this thing's going to get. So, um, the one, the one stat that they did give today was that they said that of the people infected, 20% of those people are actually healthcare workers. They're not like just your standard civilians, if you will. Um, so those are frontline healthcare workers that ha are that take up our 20% of the infected number currently. All right, so the major points today in the press briefing that they did uh, was that basically Mike DeWine said, hey, we need to get more testing done and we get our results quicker. Those were like the main, those are the main two goals. And they said as of today or yesterday, after they signed the order a couple of days ago, hospitals are now switching over slowly but surely to use to not using outside labs so that way they can get their test results back quicker so instead of waiting five days six days they can get them back in a day or two um he did mention that there are a shortage of swabs tubes and liquid the wick liquid that goes in the tubes um that is used to preserve the uh the specimen that is provided and so because of that they said they've been getting that that stuff outside of Ohio and having to bid and all that kind of stuff. And they said, okay, we're done doing that. So there's a partnership between Ohio state uh, university and the health department. They're working together to make sure that these items are produced in Ohio. So they are working through the process to make sure that we can start producing these in Ohio. I'm not sure who's going to be producing them, but he did say that the current delay has been waiting for others to produce these. And we should start seeing this happen within the next few days. So hopefully within the next few days, we should be at a point where, we're producing the the items uh, of needed in order to submit things for testing, um, which will allow us to do more tests per day. So we should start to see these numbers go up as far as the number of daily tests because th we're able to actually test more. Um, the final thing that uh, came up today, which I felt was relevant to mention here, was that uh, Amy Acton said that the further out, she said, it, even though it's it kind of sucks that to even hear this, but she said the further out the we push, we delay this peak from happening. In theory, the better off we are because one, it gives us more time to be prepared as a state. But then the second was that she said the peak should not be nearly as high. So the good is that could be that you know the incline may be slower to get to the peak but the peak should not be as high as they projected, which again was up to about 10,000 infected new infections per day. Um, that should get, that should be remain less, but that just means that this problem and the stay at home order drags out even further. So that could last, you know, not right now the projections are 
mid April between mid April and mid May is when the peak could happen. So again, that depends on how things go, the number of tests, how fast they get people tested, blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot that goes into that, but that is the current projections. That is my update for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you ever have any feedback into this, be sure to drop me a comment. If you like the updates, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you know when I publish these videos. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.